One thing about the Marlin Model 60 is uh, since Remington went into bankruptcy and sold off all their assets, in 2020, Ruger, which was the main competitor with the Marlin Model 60 with their uh, Ruger 1022, they restarted the Marlin brand with their lever actions. But in January of 2022, they stated that they will not be reintroducing the Marlin Model 60. I wanted to take a minute and go over the Marlin Model 60. Uh, it just so happens I've ended up with three variations of this rifle. Now it was first introduced in 1960. Uh, its precursor was the Marlin Model 59. I don't know much about that. But the uh, Marlin Model 60 came right on the heels of the 59 and there was a few changes. One is they were produced with birch stocks. You'll see that here with this one. And I believe that one over there, right there is a birch stock as well. I'm pretty sure it would be. That's a later model. Anyway, this one I purchased for $60 brand new, I think at Kmart in 1986. It's a 17 round magazine with one in the chamber makes it an 18 round. The unique thing about this is that in addition to the 18 round, it also has the last round hold open, which was introduced in 1985. So according to Wikipedia, these are the most desirable to get because you have the higher capacity on your magazine, plus you have the last round hold open. I've used it a lot. This was my squirrel gun and I've shot a lot of squirrels with this particular rifle right here. The middle one with the laminated stock, that was my stepfather's. Uh, he bought it in 1996. And then the one on the end, he also bought in 2019. He had purchased that one after I had purchased this one from him. And the thing is, he has Alzheimer's, so he wasn't supposed to be getting any more guns. The reason I was purchasing his long rifles was to get the guns out of the house. But uh, he obviously went back out and bought him another rifle. But anyway, I, I've, I've secured all of his weapons now, and uh, that's a story for another day. Anyway, the one on the very end, as mentioned, was a 2019 model, and that was produced in Huntsville, Alabama by the Remington Arms Company when they owned the Marlin brand. You'll notice on the middle one here that the magazine tube is a little bit shorter. Let's see if I can uh, zoom in on that a little bit. You'll notice that the barrel on the 96 model and the 86 model are the same length, which is 22 inches. But the magazine in the middle one, which is the 96 model, is, uh, is 14 rounds, with one in the chamber makes it 15. That shortened magazine tube was introduced in the late 80s, so I'll say between 88 and 89, and that was to meet New Jersey's gun law for semi-automatic rifles. This one right here, uh, they shortened the barrel on that one. And let's see, it went to a 19 inch barrel. And that one was actually produced by the Remington Arms Company when they had purchased Marlin. So um, one thing that I've noticed about all these is they're pretty much identical 
uh, as far as their operation goes. I know there was some changes uh, over the years internally, but for the most part, these three guns are all the same. They all function the same. They all work quite well. The one in the middle that I purchased from my stepfather, I really liked it because it had that laminate stock on it. And another thing I noticed last night was that it has the uh, gold colored trigger, whereas the other two are black. One thing about the Marlin Model 60 is uh, since Remington went into bankruptcy and sold off all their assets, in 2020, Ruger, which was the main competitor with the Marlin Model 60 with their uh, Ruger 1022, they restarted the Marlin brand with their lever actions. But in January of 2022, they stated that they will not be reintroducing the Marlin Model 60. Quality on this one right here leaves a little bit to be desired. The finish on the stock, I noticed it looked like there were some, uh, some on the barrel as well. Now, I don't know if that was something that my stepfather had done afterwards or if it came from the factory like that. But anyway, let's see if I can zoom in here. With these guns, There's a stock screw here and one right here. This one, there's only one stock screw. So I've noticed that you can feel movement in here. Whereas the others, you do not feel that. So under Remington, uh, quality went down a little bit. If I didn't mention it before, I keep wanting to call it New Haven, but it's North Haven, Connecticut uh, is where Marlin Firearms produced this one and this one. That one right there was produced in Huntsville, Alabama, uh, when Remington uh, moved the production of the Marlin Model 60 down to Alabama. Again, this, these were produced in, or started in 1960. This is a 1986, this is a 96, and the last one is a 2019 model. And the way I know that these two you can look at the serial numbers and get the dates off of them. This one, the last one right here, I actually have the owner's manual from where he bought it. And inside is the receipt and he wrote down information on it and he purchased it April the 13th of 2019. I'll get these out, shoot them. Matter of fact, I'll, I'll take all three out and uh, compare them to see how they do. Of course, I'll probably have to put a scope on that one on the end as the other two already have scopes on them. But that's what I wanted to go over a little bit with the Marlin Model 60. I really like the one in the middle, even though it does have a lesser capacity on the magazine. Uh, it's just a, a pretty good quality piece with the stock and the, the gun itself. It shoots really well. My older one does fine, but it's old and it has some worn out parts in it that need to be replaced. But other than that, that's the Marlin Model 60. I actually have three of them now. So we'll get them out, make a shooting video with them, compare them, see how they do, uh, and go from there.